Guys, I have some little craft projects I want to get out of the way, and I thought, I've been trying to get out here all weekend to do them, I thought I would just uh, video my little process. So I used to sell wholesale all over the United States, I've shipped to Canada, I shipped to Florida that ended up with the ballet um, in Russia, the sister ballet companies. I had to do an order for a shop that was gifts to them. I've had sales wraps. I'm so burned out on wood and crafting that I just <clears throat> love the junk journal world and not have to be tied to pressure. So yesterday I was at the dollar store getting wrapping paper and boxes and saw this. There were just two sitting there like this on the on the, um, I gotta make sure I'm even in, in frame, uh, sitting on the shelf. And I thought, well, how cute would that be for a napkin holder? So I bought them, I'm gonna glue them together. And I thought, well, it's not that exciting, but you know, think outside the box, right? So I'm gonna just, I could have wood glued them probably, but you know, they're only gonna be up for a few months maybe through the winter, because they're not really crisp. Well, they do say Mary on them. So, you know, for a month. It's not like I'm going to... But see, there you go. Just, um, you know, pretend these are napkins. That'll work. That's kind of cute. So there you go. For $2, I have a little Christmas napkin holder. So there's one thing I wanted to do. So run to your dollar store. It was Dollar General or any of those types. The other thing I wanted to do was a couple years ago, I ordered 100 paint sticks because I sell on Facebook um, crafts lots. And I ordered 100 paint sticks, drilled holes in them, stained them, drilled a hole here, made the bead dangle. And as people ordered the names, for their kids, they hung them on their stockings. And I would get, one gal spent $90. She had grandkids, daughters, son-in-laws, her name, her husband. She got a lot of them. Every year, somebody says, I've got a new grandbaby. Can you get me this? Can you do that? In fact, I'm shipping two tomorrow to Nebraska. So anyway, I thought I would do one. I did the paint real quick which I don't normally, I did do some in red and green one year. Um, they went to Council Bluffs, Iowa, but I thought I'm just going to do one of these on camera. Just get a paint stick, stain it, or a piece of um, lath, sand a piece of lath, cut it up. I'm just going to do ho, ho, ho for fun. I buy my Scrabble letters a thousand at a time. And um, when you run out, you can go on eBay and order just one particular letter. I had an order for 30, 30 something um, that said inspire. It was for uh, the principal was giving, giving them to one to each teacher. And it just was the word inspire. Well, inspire has two eyes and I didn't have enough eyes in my thousand. So I ordered another thousand. I have a big toolbox with like the 38 drawers or whatever. And uh, I ended up having to buy a hundred letter eyes out of a place in California. So, um, and then the holes drilled, but instead of making a tassel, um, this is from, hold on, I gotta unhook. Here we go. This, this is a, this is at Walmart right now. I bought it this year. I made this dangle but it was a big big yard and a half two yards of beads um in the christmas tree aisle christmas decoration aisle i cut it up and backed off some of the beads and made these are for um junk journals so you know i'm gonna eventually not probably on camera take one of these apart and actually Look at this one too. This was a Dollar General, um, you know, bead thing. Probably shorten it. So that's what I'm going to do with that. 
to decorate, but I won't do that on screen. But this is another idea you can do. Um, you don't even have to do a name, but the names are sure cute. Hang, I usually use E6000. Ouch. And when I use hot glue, I burn myself. I like them crooked if you don't want to have the patience, but otherwise I use a ruler and I go right along the side of them and give them a little push to make sure they line up nice. But if you do them crooked, you don't have to, you know, be so stressed out. I'm just going to do ho, ho, ho. I need a glue stick to reach here. So this is just a quick, easy thing. They sell these uh, letters in Dollar General, $3. For a bag and that should get you even nicknames or shortened versions you can spread them out however you want tie a red bow on it dangle some jingle bells so there give it a little pressure ho 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 sound isn't that cute you could hang that anywhere. And that is cheap. You Probably everybody has a paint stick. Slap some paint on it and hide the imperfections. And if it's already globby with paint, rub some stain over it, sand it up, and just go with it. I buy my bells by the hundreds, too, because I had a craft business. That's a wood bead. I buy my wood beads by the, by the tons. You know, add some bells into it. Um, tie some, uh, this is a... I wouldn't want this on it, but you know, you could dangle some things off of it. Um, I'm just sitting here in a limited space. You could certainly put this at the top. Whatever you have in your stash, that's the name of the game, right? Do Make do with what you have. So there's the second little thing I wanted to get out of the way. And the third... Oh, wait till you see my tin cans. I'm going to do that here in a couple days. Maybe maybe today. Um, so there's that. The third thing I want to do is these 4x4 four four, uh, canvases. I had, I think I ordered 60, 60 of them. Or it was $60 maybe. I don't remember how many there were. But I had an order for a few. I don't buy by the few. I buy by the, the bulk. And they were from, um, not Blick, one of those art studios. And see, this is, I decoupaged them with scrapbook paper. I did some cancer. I think it was for a gift shop for cancer is what it was. It's been so many years, I don't remember. And I have maybe, I don't know how many, a few left. Some of them I... Just did some Dr. Susie kind of artwork on them for myself. So I'm going to um, decoupage and hide this. I'm going to, off camera, I'm going to go around and paint the edge. I'm just going to make do with these, you know, get them used up because they're just sitting, taking up space. And um, like I said, I don't sell to shops anymore. I don't have a sales rep anymore, although I've thought about doing it. Um, but man, was it a nightmare for uh, it's it's really a lot of work. It is a whole different level of life. <laughs> it is not an easy life. Oh, see, I used my green. I used this brush to do that green, and I used a baby wipe to clean it. I kind of like that green on there, though, actually, because I'm sitting here, and I didn't want to get up and go to the sink. <laughs> Lazy. Take that off. So... That's kind of, actually kind of cute. So I'm just going to decoupage that on real quick. Get that little bit of green. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. So you could do this on a scrap of wood. You could do this on a canvas. You know, those little canvases you buy at um, Dollar Tree. And this, so that's just sheet music. This is from um, Joey Cardmaker. I did his Christmas kit. Um, oh, it's been so long, I can't even remember the name of the kit. Not been so long. It was an absolutely beautiful kit with children, very vintage. I um, used my cookbook 
that I got in 1970. I don't want to use my glue gun anymore. I'm done with that, I think. Let me unplug it. Um, I used my 1970s cookbook in it. Where am I going to set this? Right there. Oh, I'll use my... Let's see. I think I'll use my fabric tack. Um, this is from Joey's kit. It's, a, it's obviously a pocket. I'm going to glue it on and give this little thing a pocket. I have a little bit of his leftover kit. It's, I think it's 30 pages. And I think, and I went to the library to print it because their, their printer is like $10,000 printer. And it's, uh, it's photo grade. It's amazing. So I love to go there and just sit on the computer and send my images to to the printer. And I wanted I by mistake sent anyway I ended up with 50. And that is the truth. So if this was dry I would I might do it anyway. Take a where is my I hope my nose isn't sticking in the I'm looking for, there it is, a nail file. Oh my gosh, I miss. Oh my gosh. And then I'll just do this. It's wet, I shouldn't even be doing it. And then I'll ink it. Remember to my girlfriends the other night. Um, and we craft it. I take a little basket and go over a box or a tub or a tote or whatever. I depends on how much I take. And she's she's um she's done for years scrapbooking. We're making books for all her kids and all that. She's got everything. She's got a Sizzix, which I don't have. She's got all the tools. I kind of craft like a like I started out like I have nothing. I mean I have things. But um, she actually gave me a guillotine the other night. She has three. I'm saying, I need to get a guillotine, but I just don't want to spend much. She goes, well, I have three. I'm like, you're kidding me. <laughs> she sent me home with one. That was so cool. But anyway, I give her things like uh, coffee dyed paper and old ephemera and all that. So it, you know what? It all comes out, doesn't it? I'm going to, oops, I'm going to break my elbow. That's what I'm going to do. Anyway, she made her first, with a cookbook, her first um, journal cover. She bought Amy at the Crafty Cats, um, all about, all in one Santa kit, which I was working on the other day. I'm going to finish that up pretty soon here, today probably. There, let's get that a little, I don't have a wipe. I kind of want to blend that a little. Let's see. Here we go. There. Okay. I think it's aged enough. So there's that. I'm going to paint around the edge, or maybe I'll wrap a big ribbon. See what I come up with. Maybe I'll use lace. I got the pocket. I had, this is his kit. I already had this ticket made and backed with some red. So I'll tuck that in. Um, this is not from his kit. This is from another kit I worked on. Um, I'll have to go back in my Etsy and see who it is because I absolutely can't remember. So let's see. That might be cute tied. That might be cute. Let's see. Well, anyway, I need to do this. I want this one in there. So let's see. Here's a piece of, I don't want to waste that. Are you like that? You don't want to waste. You don't want to, I don't want to waste that. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with us? I sat in the chair the other night, the other night, like three weeks ago. <laughs> the other night, like last fall. No, the other night, that was probably three weeks ago. And I took my, um, these are how I keep my scraps. I went through three of those 
and kept, I'm like, it was hard. It was so hard to get rid of them. But I'm like, why am I, why am I saving this? Why am I saving this? It was just ridiculous. I think I filled my little garbage can three times. <sighs> and I literally let it go out the door. My son took it out to our fire pit. And I said, don't let me get it. Don't let me bring it back. Don't let me. So I'm going to stick this in there. This would be cute. No, this is... Yeah, I'll do that. And then this is from that other kit. Let's see. And then I had this. This is from the other kit, too. I don't know who she is. Joyous Noel, right there. If I put it up here, it won't show. So I don't want to do that. I'm one of those people that thinks everything has to show. It has to show. I think that'd be cute. It's already... I'm just going to use it like that. So there we go. Just get you a little wooden block. Any block out of your garage, your work bench pile, or however your life is. You know what? Oh, if I trim that down. Hold on. Brain fart. Idea. One more. One more trim. Oh yeah, there we go. Is that? That's not straight. Oh, hold up. I was watching Nancy Grace before I came in here. I was watching about the the two teens the other day that went missing, the 15-year-old girl and the she, I think he was 17 at the time, but he's 18, and they went missing, and she's like, is it a modern-day Romeo and Juliet? You know how she talks. Well, anyway, the kids have surfaced in Missouri. Thank God. What a, what a freaking nightmare. I would be out of my head. I, I have a whole string of cuss words in my mouth that if my kids went missing, I would be absolutely out of this world, out of my mind. If I put this here, I'm just talking, and I did a rivet, like cut it, took the legs off, and riveted on, that'd be cute. Actually, actually, that's kind of, get up there. Actually, actually, I like that, okay? Let's just do, oh, my glue, I didn't put the lid on, and it was on its side. Gross. That's going to be a big dried up mess. There. Okay. I think I'll put a little glue under that edge. There we go. That's called working on the fly. Yeah, that'll stay. I could put a little more on that. And I could go around it with, I had no idea what I was going to do with this. I just knew I was going to do something. Okay, man, I'm going after glue this week. I freak out. During COVID, I, everybody was like, I can't get glue. I can't get glue. And I'm like, huh, we don't have trouble like that. And I, well, we got everything. And I had so much glue. Every time I go to Walmart, I'd buy another one of these, but the big one. And I took a picture one time and posted it on somewhere on my Facebook or something. Or my Instagram. And it's gone now because I felt like I was bragging. I must have had four of the big ones. Um, tacky glue. I had it all. I was like, I'm freaking out. I'm Forget about hoarding potatoes. I want to hoard my glue. Okay, there we go. There's a second one. I'll go around this and paint it. Um, maybe this green, that's why it's sitting here. I did that. Or maybe I'll do, yeah, I think I might do this. Maybe I'll do a burgundy like this. That's what I'll do. Okay, there's two. 
One, two, is that two or is that three? That's three. Then I'll show you what I did the other night and then I'm gonna get off of here and gather my stuff for, uh, to finish up my all-in-one all Santa journal. I'm gonna get that done today. Just gonna get that done. Can't find my exacto knife. I did 32 envelopes, coffee dyed. Mitzi, Mitzi, I'll mail you some. 32, because I got a box of 500. 32 envelopes. Some of them, the, the stuff melted, and some of them didn't. It just depends on when I remember to get up and, well, that's a book. Get up and head to the stove. See, some of them wrinkled out. Pull that out. Some of them did fine. This one needs to come apart. Anyway, 32 or 33 envelopes. Um, and then I did, here's my, uh, parchment paper I use it over and over and over and over and over this is what I intended to do I said I'm going to go out there and do that stack well I didn't I quit 73 pieces of paper I just bought this pad at Walmart this grid paper and I thought I'm just going to go I'm going to coffee dye the whole doggone thing so there's all this this is from tar uh, Target I don't even go to Target. Uh, that's from Hobby Lobby. And then a bunch of planes. So I got 73 more sheets. Boy, I go through it fast though. Really fast. Just keep it in here. So there's that. So I've had a kind of a busy weekend. Okay. I'm going to, um, I'm going to make this journal. This is, this has, uh, no problem. We like it. That's my flow. Okay, guys, thanks for the quick watch of my cute little crafts. I'm going to come back, gather my kit, and uh, work on this. I might dig some beads out of my little bead tray, and I'll be back. Let's see what we've got here. I can't remember. We did this. And we did this, and we did something that I've lost already. What did I do with that? How do we lose stuff so fast? Hmm. Well, that is completely gone. Oh yeah, I was gonna do this too. Oh, I have a couple more. Oh, I'll be back. I'm gonna go find that other thing, and I'll be back. Bye-bye.